do you want to know how to sync up all your pocket operators with each other? You've come to the right place. Freebie. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and be sure to check out my free upcoming live stream concert, Freebeat Live, Clash of Fools. It's on Friday, April 2nd at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's gonna be a ton of fun. Hope to see you there. Let's get started. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to sync your pocket operators with one another. Now here at the channel, I've done lots of videos on how to sync a single pocket operator with other pieces of gear, but the other day it occurred to me that I've never done a little tutorial on how to sync them with each other. So this is going to be a very, very basic tutorial. I'm not going to get in depth into how the sync modes work, uh, you know, when it comes to the stereo and mono signals and all that stuff. I'm just going to show you how to actually get going syncing the pocket operators together. There's lots of other videos here on YouTube that get way more in depth, but this is meant to be just a quick how to do it guide. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come up with a pattern on each of the pocket operators that you want to sync. I'm just going to do a really basic four on the floor here on the office. I've got a really basic, uh, just little like shimmer sound there on the arcade. And here on the tonic, I'm just gonna go uh, da 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 on the hi-hat. Just like that. So that's the first thing you'll need is actual content on your pocket operator to sync with another pocket operator with content on that one. The second thing you're gonna need is a couple auxiliary cables to connect them. This is just a standard eighth inch or three and a half millimeter stereo cable. I like to use these for pocket operators. It's basically that same cable, but in a little adapter form, and it's very short, and they plug in quite nicely. So the first way I'm gonna show you how to sync these up is by only using two pocket operators. So for that, we are gonna use the Tonic and the Office. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is pick a pocket operator to be the master controller. This will control the tempo for all of your other pocket operators. In this case, I'm gonna use the Tonic. I like to keep my order left to right, uh, you know, depending on how my cables are set up, just makes things easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my adapter here, or my eighth inch cable, I should say, to the output of my master pocket operator. And then I'm gonna plug that into the input of the next in line pocket operator, in this case, the PO24 office. Then you'll plug either your headphones into the output of your uh, secondary pocket operator, or in this case, it's gonna go to my audio interface so I can record audio for this video. Now you're gonna want to set your volume. To do that, you simply hold BPM and select one through 16. I set my volume at 12 usually to start. Now I'll confirm that everything is plugged in, yep. Cool, I've got sound on both of my pocket operators. Now it's time to change the sync mode. The way we change the sync mode is by holding the function button and tapping BPM of our pocket operator. The function button is this top right button here directly under knob B. Now it's labeled differently on each pocket operator and that's because each pocket operator has a different unique function. For instance, on the tonic it says ACC for accent, but on the office it says solo for solo. But it's the same button either way, this top right button under knob B. So, Depending on what we have plugged into the inputs and outputs of our pocket operator, if we hold that button and tap BPM, we can see on the screen that we cycle between a whole bunch of different modes. SY0 for sync zero, SY1 for sync one, SY2 for sync two, SY3 for sync three, SY4 for sync four, and SY5 for sync five. Like I said, I'm keeping this tutorial fairly basic. So for syncing two pocket operators, we're gonna set the master first. Now we are gonna set this to sync mode one or SY1. So we want to press BPM until we get to SY1. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is set the last in line pocket operator to SY4 for sync mode four. SY1 means that we're going to be outputting a sync and audio. SY4 means we're gonna be looking for that on the input and outputting just a normal stereo signal. So there's only one thing left to do, and that is to arm the sequencer on the last in-line pocket operator for playback. So to do that, we hit play. We'll see the play button is flashing, but we're not gonna hear any sound. That's because it's not receiving a click signal yet. Now all we have to do is hit play on the PO32 here on our master pocket operator. We can hear both pocket operators are now synced up and playing their patterns. 
and it really is that easy. Let's come up with a, a better pattern here on the tonic. There we go. And as you can see there, I didn't hit play on the PO24 on my last inline pocket operator before hitting play on the tonic, and nothing happened on the office. Now if I hit play, it'll start, but it won't start on one. It'll start wherever I hit the play button at. So we were about halfway through the measure there when I hit start, so they were out of sync technically, even though their tempos were synced up. So again, hit play on your last of line pocket operator, and then hit play on your master or your first of line. And you can see here, if I hold BPM and adjust the tempo on the master, changes it on the last of line as well. There we go. Really is that easy. Now, let's add a third pocket operator into the mix. So to do that, I'm gonna unplug these two. I'm gonna leave the office as last in line, but I'm gonna plug the arcade here into the middle of the chain. And now, as you probably guessed, we plug another cable or adapter, in my case, to the output of the middle pocket operator, and then we plug that into our last of line. And you can have as many middle pocket operators as you'd like. Once again, we do need to set our volume, make sure everything is looking good here. Okay, perfect. So now we need to change our sync modes. The sync mode on the master pocket operator is fine, left at sync mode one. However, the middle pocket operators, as many as you have, need to be set to sync mode five or SY5. So on the PO20, we hold the chord button and tap BPM till we get to SY5. And remember the chord button is the function button of the PO20, same as the accent button on the tonic and the solo button on the office. So now we just need to make sure that our sync signal on the final pocket operator is once again set to sync mode four or SY4. And now we are good to go. SY5 basically means that it's a middle pocket operator. It's accepting sync and audio and it's outputting sync and audio. So now all we need to do is arm both of these pocket operators for playback by hitting the play button. They'll be ready to go. Now we just need to hit play on our master pocket operator. And we are all synced up and running together. And what's cool is you can still use punch in effects from each individual pocket operator. You can also chain to different patterns on each individual pocket operator. And when you're done, just hit the play button on the master pocket operator and all of your connected POs will stop playing. And that's how to sync pocket operators with one another. Hopefully you found this guide simple enough to get going on your own if you had been struggling before. Of course, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave those in a comment down below. If you did find this video useful or if you at least enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like on the video. If not, you can always leave a dislike, that's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.